Well, African football and African footballers so prevalent now on the world stage. And now 14 African nations congregate, all hungry and vying for success. Winner takes all, and I'm sure this opener will be an intriguing game. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Senegal. Well, that was impressive. Match that. So the teams are ready to go as we all bask just for a moment in that special feel-good factor. You tend only to get on days like this. Do you know, I think that's true, Peter. I think fans and players alike need to, to change every so often and a different feel from the standard routine. And this creates a whole new excitement and let's get to it. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Mohamed Salah. And it's mainly because of his frightening pace. He's a huge threat when he's running at defenders, but he's also proved in recent times that he's a top-class finisher. Opposition defences are going to have to be wary about playing a high line because there's nothing this guy relishes more than space to run into. And once he gets there... He's gone. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. And here's Mane. A really good feat from him. Mane. And here's Mane. Ndiaye tries to stroke it through. Yang beats the offside trap. Mohamed Salah. Senegal playing high up the pitch here, very much taking the front foot approach. Time to deliver. Whipped it. Towering header. And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And it's Niang. Egypt, yet to have a shot on target. Oh, sweet feet. Timely intervention. 
hoists it forward. Badu Ndiaye gets it back. Idrissa Gay. Idrissa Gay. He's in! Is there any support? He might not need it. He's come loose. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Yang. It's gone out for a throw in. And it's El Nelly. He's got options out wide. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Trezeguet goes looking. And it's played forward. Going through. Liang proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. A well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Tries to get it forward quickly. El Nenny. Mane has it in a wide position, so what next? Loose ball, who's going to get that? Idrissa Gay. And try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Battles to win it back. Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Ndiaye. And the counter is on. Into the final five minutes of the first half. Oh, what a shot at goal! Yes, it's in! The breakthrough strike! A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. Senegal take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Chance to break. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the... And we hit half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Robert still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. And we're underway again. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And a counter is on here for Egypt. He's got away. A really good feat. Well, Nenny. Just brushed off the ball there. Hoists it forward. Idrissa Gay. Niang could try cutting inside here. Looking for a decent ball in. And then he. It's a loose ball. 
Mane. And Mane! Sticks it away! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Senegal grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Trezeguet gets it into the middle. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah! Just off target. Oh, it's a very good effort. There wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking... Fine margins now. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. delivery and all it needed was a touch oh look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was <laughs> Egypt get themselves back into contention well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Referee's given a throw. Forward it goes. Well, they could break here. Driving on, he could shoot here. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Cuts it out. It's on a tries a shot. Oh, that is rather wayward. Egypt are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Egypt have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. And here's Kay. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Oh, this looks promising. Got to make this count. Nicely measured pass. Egypt are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. And now the breakaway. 
Salah. He's picked him out. Chance! And that could come back to haunt them. Oh, he can't hide away from how important that was. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Nenny. Now the counter. He's played him through. Oh, shooting chance! And yes, it's there! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Senegal, or two up, and into a position of real strength. El Neni, and helps available out wide. Gets up to hit it! And the ball's come out! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Yeah, this is part of the job, head down and keep plugging away. It's got through to him, Idris Gay. Has a look and place it in. Koulibaly goes looking. Senegal making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hagazi. Trezor hits one! Yang. Time added on four minutes. Idrissa Gay. El Mohamedi. El Mohamedi to play it forward. He's through the middle. For one more twist. Egypt are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Egypt give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. That's it, they are out. Egypt out at the first hurdle. Hugely disappointing to fall so soon. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It's actually difficult, Peter.